is a kind of feels like a workout. You know, you're using a lot of bow. You're going big, big time because uh, Shochi writes, use the whole bow. He's very clear on that. And you have to pick up the bow, of course, and land in the right spots in the right, right time, the right place. And yeah, so that kind of creates a certain choreography here that you need to really work out a slower tempo first. You need to yeah, understand that first it's a pick up the bow, pick up the bow, and hold bow again. So you have to go back all the way to the tip where you started from. So of course I showed it slower, but when you go faster, it looks like this. Right? The rhythm here is very important. And uh, like I said, the pickups, you have to get the bow airborne just a little bit, a few times per, uh, per measure, um, and really try and work, work that out in your mind. You must really understand in, 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 your, in your mind. And if you do, then your hands, your, your arms will follow. But really this predominantly about the opening up of the right arm and making sure things are going very smoothly as you're picking up the ball and landing at the right time, right place without creating a bouncy spring-like sound, unpleasant. So yeah, just uh, be careful with this. It's a, it's a fun and not very difficult uh, variation. I would uh, recommend starting slower and with the metronome, uh, make your way uh, faster to, uh, to a faster tempo and uh, of course enjoy. This should be great, it should be great fun. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I also invite you to visit my website where you can find more information about the lessons I teach online. Thank you for watching.